it's the roll up, it's the vibes, it's the biggest. You already know what time it is when I pull up on this one screener. It means it's big news out of Gainesville. But before we get started to that big news, like and subscribe to the channel. It don't cost nothing to show love. When you hit that subscribe button, you'll get a notification for all of our dope content. Whether it's our Same Energy Sunday recap show, we do a college preview show every single week that covers the big three football, Florida, Florida State, and Miami. And we also do game day experience vlogs with myself in Gainesville, Kenny Shaw in Tallahassee, and Amon Richards down in Miami. We drop those every so often. Actually got some dropping this week. Make sure you guys tap in. Enjoy all the fire content. Nobody covering it like we covering it, man. Um, that's what it is. But let's get to this big news out of out of Gainesville, man. Big business going on. You know, business is business, and Billy is standing on said business. <laughs> you already know what time it is. LJ McCray, decision day was today. Uh, he made that announcement a couple weeks ago. Uh, Florida State had the last visit. The five-star pass rush, the 6'6", 275-pound pass rush out of Daytona Beach, Florida, chooses the Florida Gators. Shout out to Coach Spencer. Shout out to Coach Austin Armstrong doing a great job on the defensive side of that ball with just getting trench monsters. But this is a very, get, very good get and a very important get. If you have been watching any content that I've been doing this fall, whether it's Roll Up, Stadium Miguel, Live Spaces, whatever it may be, I've been saying one of the, my biggest concerns is the lack of pass rushing and being able to get there with four. With the defensive line haul that we're pulling in in this class, I expect that problem to be fixed like fairly quick between the freshmen that's on campus that we got last year and they're hooping with TJ Searcy and Kelby Collins. Now we got a, a very elite class on the way right now. Amarius Williams, Jamonte Waller, Kendall Jackson, Nazir Johnson, and now LJ McCray. And I think there's one or two more we may add to this bunch. A super elite haul. Blue chip guys in the trenches that are going to be able to come here and play fairly soon. And we've already seen Billy with the knack of playing guys early. So I expect that type of action to happen. Uh, LJ can play inside or outside. Um, he's just a super flexible guy. I expect him to play some strong side defensive end for us. But I think he's the, the most explosive defensive end that we've had since Dante Fowler. Uh, he's he's moved up the rankings considerably this fall. He was a four-star, solid four-star, but his play this fall has been dominant. Uh, he's now a five-star. Some people got him as the number one defensive lineman overall. Incredible get. Um, everybody been waiting for the games to get played with this Florida Gator recruiting class. We had a very good summer, landing some uh, elite kids. People been watching DJ Lagway, wondering if he's going to flip all the smoke around that. Oh, he's not going to – once the games get played, all that, that, that class is going to fall apart. Well, right now we're at the bye week. We're five and two. It hasn't been a smooth season. You know, it's been a lot of, like, weirdness and, and up and down play. But to land a five-star kid in October while the games are being played, while it's been up and down, that means Billy Napier and the guys are doing a great job of selling the, the, the division, you know. Like, these guys selling to this class that they're going to be the difference makers. That's what they're doing a good job of. Uh, and this is a very good sign for the future because when you got the number three class in the country, people are going to try to poach your talent away. And, and it's going to be difficult, you know, to, to – it's well, I'm not, I'm not going to say difficult. It's not easy to, you know, coach these football games and keep that type of class intact. But when you got that big-ass army that we got off the field, that makes it a little bit easier. So keeping this class intact, I think it's going to be not easy, but I think we'll do it largely. You know, um, this was a good sign towards the future, being able to get, get a kid like this while the games are being played versus, you know, you look at the Florida State, the the University of Georgia, that's who we was facing. That's who we came down to the scratch, and those guys are having great seasons. You know, both of those teams are talking playoff talk, you know. Um, Florida State, I think, counted their chickens before they hatched this week. Um, and I do like that LJ McCray troll, both of our rivals coming down to this, man. That's a beautiful way to get a commit. When you got Florida State and University of Georgia, in my mind, those are my number two, one and two rivals right there. You know, to stuff both of them boys in the locker for a five star, ugh. Billy's standing on business, man. You got to love it. You know, don't fall for the clickbait. Nobody really knows nothing. Elgin McCray did a great job of keeping his recruitment in the crib. So there's a lot of guessing going on. A lot of people guess wrong. A lot of people guess early. But at the end of the day, that boy's in Gainesville. Three, five, two, what it do? Say less. 
Touch grass, touch ass. It's the bye week. It's the biggest. Florida Gators, man, top program in the state right now when it pertains to recruiting. We'll see what it's doing a little bit on the field, baby. Yeah.